Hey guys, <laughs> how you all doing? Hope everyone is well. Welcome to Life with the, the Darlingtons. Yes. So you guys, this being the month of love, Valentine's Day is around the corner. So we decided that we're going to invite a few of our friends over this month just to share a bit about their love stories, how they met, everything yeah. love, marriage, relationships. And everything in between. And everything in between. Mm-hmm. So for our first episode, we have Nalady and Isabel. <laughs> Oh my ah. God, goes wild. Which crowd? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the crowd? How are you guys? We're good. How are you? We're good. We're good. It's so nice to have you guys. Thank you for having us. We're big fans. Uh-huh. Subscribe. Yes, please. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You can be sure for us, you guys. So yeah. now we get into the real stuff. The meat now. Yes. Yeah. Now, obviously. Don't do it. <laughs> So guys, tell us how did you guys meet? Tell them. How did we meet? Um. So. Uh, okay. Let me tell the story first. Yeah. Okay. So. Are there different versions of the story? Yeah. There's different perspectives. There's his okay. side and my side. Okay. Yeah. This Wait, actually, we, there always is. Do we have different versions there or? Is. Yeah. What is going on there? No, it's the same. Okay. So we met on Tinder. No. (laughs) (laughs) Mix it. (laughs) Mix it chat groups. (laughs) Her name was Roxy and I was No. (laughs) No, no. So initially when we met, uh, we didn't like each other. That's like the biggest theme. Like we really, really, really didn't like each other. Like where's her? Because the first time I think her friend, her roommate was dating my best friend. So uh, we went out once for McFlurry's. Do you remember this evening? No. Yeah. Of course you were. I blocked out all the memories. Because you were busy, <laughs> you were busy <laughs> studying. In it. I don't yeah. remember. So we, we went there and we picked them up. We were going for McFlurry's. So my best friend was with his girlfriend and then she was the roommate, obviously. So she tagged along. But I she decided. Along. You did <laughs> tag along. Okay. okay. Well, we invited you, but okay. she decided to take her books along. She was busy still studying. So she brought her books along to a McFlurry trip at 11 o'clock at night. And I'm sitting here in the back seat with this girl and she's just busy on her books. What did you want my attention? Yes. No. <laughs> I didn't even know you. So mm-hmm. I sat there and I was like, wow, this girl is like, really, like she's studying right now when we're out for McFlurries. Like, this doesn't make sense. So I was like, okay, are you only about school or whatnot? So, Wait, I, so I thought, yeah, I thought she was just pompous so not gonna obey yeah because yeah. she's studying <laughs> medicine <laughs> yeah now she she must always show that she's studying now she yeah. brings her books out for mcflurries who does that wait but when you guys met for the first time was it because your friend was putting you guys together no or was it just by default no, that i don't think that was the first time we actually met i think we had met many times before. oh yeah mm. I, we were actually in opposite schools yeah. We used to she go was to in the Nisi, same I was in events, Grace. Mm. Like, and we were both in choir. So we had seen each other, but um, <sighs> yeah, I don't remember. It, yeah. yeah, I don't really remember yeah. him. And then he was it's like always in the picture because my friend was dating his best friend. Mm. I had seen him, like, but he really used to annoy me. So it was always like, oh, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there was a few times he would even come to our house. I don't, like, more times than I remember, because mm. I think I really just blocked up like this irritation. Irritation. It was just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there was a few times he came to the house and stuff. Mm. So we had met a few times before this mm. event happened. So my version of events. Yeah. So. Yes. So technically, she really didn't care. Like she was just going out with friends for McFlurries. What what she what she came for was a free free McFlurry. No, what you guys forced me to go <laughs> out for is a free McFlurry. The plan was not to leave the house. I was yeah. studying. Mm. They were like, they're always studying, blah, blah, blah. Just come. Yeah, come. Just come from a flurry. Yeah. I think you actually have the story, story wrong. I don't. It wasn't your friend. It was the group. We were all going out. Oh, yes. It was actually... Oh, yes. It no, it was, a, it was a group event. It was a group event. Mm. It was a group event. Yeah, it was a group event. So there were more people. They, yeah, there, there were, were more people. There were more people. Okay. But we're in different cars. We're in different oh, okay. cars. That long ago, guys. Yeah, there were more people, different cars. <laughs> they were all in the house. 
having a good time with me was I was in my room studying. They came to me. Fair, <laughs> self-righteous. <laughs> they came to disrupt my peace. Yeah. And then I went out. So I went with some people in one car. Mm. And I ended up coming back in another car with him. Okay. So and was your friend and the partner and then you two at the back? It, it actually wasn't the partner. It was his friends. They were also her friends. Yes. They were all together. Mm. Yeah, the partner actually wasn't there yes. at that time. So I don't know, I can't remember who all went in which car, but I went with other people because I was more friends with the other friends and not him. And then I came back and I ended up in his car. And then in his car, this guy who I don't know is like, you know what? I'm going to marry you one day. Jesus. Just like that. <laughs> and I meant it. And I got so angry. Well, you did it. I meant it. At that point in my life, I was asexual. I was not Tell them what asexual married. is. What's asexual? I don't know if in the LGBTQ community, you guys can do what asexual is. Yeah, the must so, <laughs> Let's not do it. <laughs> so, uh, I, at that time, I was asexual. I didn't want a boyfriend, husband, was going to do mm. artificial insemination and have rainbow babies. My life was planned. Living nanny. You were happy. I was happy. Mm. And then this guy comes and says, he's going to marry me. And mm. I was like, you're disrespecting my plans. Please. I don't even know who you are, so just relax. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we actually fought. We had a fight, and I was like, "You can marry me and keep that's the certificate." That same night. Same night. Mm. Sure. It's like you can marry me, keep ah. the certificate, because that's all you're gonna get, and you can just tell you me you're married me that, to right? me. Wait, yes, so you basically agreed to say, "I right, cool." Because he was on my case. She agreed. Yeah. 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 And in that time, that's God said, "Stamp." Ah. That's what God did. God <laughs> said, "Stamp." I don't yeah. care. Let's still figure out she didn't even know I then. Didn't, yeah. yeah. I told him he can have the certificate, say he but. I don't want anything to do with him. He must leave me alone. We're not going to stay together. Nothing. So, so when yeah. you, but when you say that you, you, you vibe with me half, you, no. you like me. No. So why did you say that? Not even a little bit, Isabel. Like, nothing, not even like nothing. I was, so why did you say that? I was truly asexual and why did you truly say that? disliked him. Sure. I was like, this guy's. I felt so disrespected because I had my plans. Then he didn't want to come and tell me, you're going to marry me. Like, so don't why do did you say that? Go chum me. No. Why did you say that? Because you were irritating me. You were on my case. Like, you just kept on the whole time. You wouldn't leave me alone. Yeah. And then we fought. And then I, that was the last time I remember seeing you for a very long time. Mm. Then fast forward, it was Dream Week. Not Dream Week. Easter play rehearsals at church. It was She Conference. It was She Conference. And then yeah. I saw her again. Then I realized, oh, we're in the same church. And then from then, it was like a... Target locked. Now yeah. I'm Simple yeah. things. Yeah. 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 I had Simple just maths. And yeah. I knew it, it had to be a different journey, this one. This one this one required work, Shay. This one. It's kind of no, it's kind of it's kind of No, but it's a good thing. Yeah. It's, a good thing. Yeah. it's a good thing. Who wants stuff that is just like falling off trucks and stuff Fair. like that? You know what I'm saying? Fair. Mm. But she took it too far. But it, it's okay. I did okay. not. <laughs> Now you know the value. There are stories I'll tell you that no man has ever done for a girl that's not even a girlfriend. Sure. Like Let what? alone a girlfriend. Like what? Okay. We'll tell them later. Okay. Wait, so, so when did later. the numbers and the things happen so, in this whole thing? Mm. Oh, I remember now. We but, were, I had, I had been in TRC for years, but I wasn't a member, mm. like committed. So now I decided I'm committing, I'm going to join the youth, and I ended up being a leader. Mm. This guy was an overseer. So there had to be some sort of respect. Mm. I couldn't just ignore him. I couldn't be funny. Uh -huh. I had to, you know, just at least say hello and mm. walk past. Mm. So my best friend at the time, who oh, she's is still my best friend mm. at this time, um, went to Kanarpur with him. So she knew him. And we were both like, this guy is so annoying. <laughs> so annoying. So, huh? What was it about him that was Babu, so ask, annoying? Ask. Don't you know him from back in the day? It's called, it's called don't the, you here's the thing. Like I think, I think <laughs> that lady is just out there, so that he just becomes overwhelming. Not only people. that, not only that. Yeah. In general, mm -hmm. girls hate confident men. Actually, okay. yeah, no. that's so true. No, no facts. No. Facts. Uh, no, I don't. Comment, think comment below way. what you guys think about confident men. I don't. They think all he was hate confident them. Confident men. <laughs> you were cocky. He was. Yes, he was cocky. He was cocky. He to just certain told people. No, no, to everyone. He Wait, did you guys watch our video about misconceptions and social anxiety? No, yeah, no, not yet. no, not yet. You guys must go check it out. Right. You guys must go check it out and tell us what you guys think. Because I feel like what is referred to as cocky is often misconceptions no, yeah. by other I people. Agree. I agree. Like, what's wrong with just being yourself and just being who you are and just being cool, you know? I think with my lady, 
because he's so opinionated and loud also it comes across as very like and yeah. you must listen to what he has to say so i didn't like it yeah. <laughs> and he's just ah there's yeah. a lot man <laughs> So, and then we started being mm. civil towards each other because we're serving and there's morning prayers and, mm. and, and, and then he didn't have my number. I think I had Snapchat at yes. one point in my life. And then he would just, oh, I remember the one time, I think this is where we started like speaking. Mm. The one time <laughs> I needed a lift to prayer. Mm. And we went through the whole you, like everyone, and his name was. This is God. this is God. Yeah. So this the is the last <laughs> shall be first, and the <laughs> first <laughs> shall be <laughs> last. <laughs> you understand? Hallelujah. Listen, <laughs> listen to the story. I'm when I needed a lift, and we were like going through all the names, even mm. people you don't know. They're just mm. like, yeah, every number. Can you fetch us <laughs> for prayer? Can you fetch us for prayer? Just accept this one. Just accept you know, this one here. I walked to prayer before mm. I asked my lady. We were both like, Did, like, no, we're not gonna ask my lady. Like, no way. So I'm gonna <laughs> ask him, and then. <laughs> I'm like, you asked him, you know him from Kenneth Court. I don't know this guy, so please yeah. just do it. And eventually we asked him, and he didn't say yes. He actually didn't say yes. I didn't. He said... I sent another person. <laughs> he said, yeah, he said. Oh, okay. I've got my guitar in the car. And we were like, so we'll squeeze. I mean, he oh, had a bucky yeah. at the time. But we were like, we'll sit at the back. You, don't, you just want to get to prayer. He was like, but I'll make sure someone comes to fetch you. And he did that. And that's, I think, where he started. Action speaks louder. He started, oh, he still didn't have my number. Then he started sliding in. The seed was sown then Snapchat. already, it's okay. Yeah. I would go for solo dates and he'd be like, why didn't you invite me? And I'd be like, because it's a solo date. Okay. I said, have to be alone. Then I post, I'm at she conference and he's like, I'll see you there. I'm like, it's she conference. You're what are you doing here? Yeah. I serve, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. see you there. <laughs> and that's yeah, that's how it in a So this story, yeah, it's not it's not your love at first sight. No. It's not no, we it didn't like, like each other. Of work, though, yeah. Listen, yeah. or a month. This was yes. so from from that time we met to the first time we actually went out on a date was a year. Damn. Wow. A year. Yeah, but that's not too bad. If she conferences in March, then the first date we had was in March the next year. My intention of him was to use him for food. It's for okay. Food. Yeah. yeah. Listen, Wait a minute. Let, let the true intentions come out. It's okay. God <laughs> is my fighter. <laughs> my friend and I are running it. We're just like, listen. Sure. And I will run it. We're just like, this guy will bring us food at any time. And let's, do let's that. keep him here so that when we're hungry, mm. and I'm just like, yo, so hungry. Ah, you know he brings food. And like we were always, she was always with us. We were never alone. Never, was, never, ever. Very Christian. Like never, I ever. So, so I, ne- I never for the wanted, whole year. I never wanted to be. Not alone. at all. Look, because because previous relationships had been different, you kind of recognize that you need to do something different with yeah, this yeah, one yeah. to win. So whereas in the past you were alone with the girl or you had free will to do whatever and anything you want, you realize okay. Maybe discipline this time won't hurt, yeah? Yeah. So yeah. it 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 that, that's when I realized, look, first of all, she's pretty. She's what? pretty. She served Christ. And I was like, okay, let's see, let's see how this goes, right? So the minute in my head that hit, I knew, okay, this one I'm gonna fight for. Mm. That simple. I, I just I don't I don't know. I can't tell you what exactly it is. I really can't, but I just knew this one, I'll even clean her house. Which, wow. which is this? <laughs> true story. True story. Uh, this girl was once left alone at her flat, yeah, uh, and she didn't have food. Yeah, so, you yeah, well, you won't. <laughs> this girl was once left alone at her flat. So, I brought her food. My my mom had cooked. I wasn't. I was living at home, but I wasn't really living at home. So my mom had cooked, and she had also left. So I took that food that my mom left for me and mm. brought it to her. It was still mm. lasagna. I still mm. remember. Then I. You do, right? Yeah, yeah. Then I got there, I left the food there. Then the next day she left or something happened. Mm. Then I went to a flat and cleaned her whole flat and bought her electricity. Can you believe that? Sure. Oh, sure. Can you Come believe on. Can you believe that? Oh, wow. sure. Sure. Uh, wow. That's why I yeah. said, even before dating, <laughs> people wouldn't even do this for their girls. You understand? Yes. Wow. You no, understand? Now you went in. You went in. Yeah, no, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. For sure. Wow. For sure. Wow. For sure. Wow. I mean, so, like, did the most. What was it about in a lady? Was it the time where you had ideas to say, maybe this one I can marry? Or, like, what was it about that, that period? I don't know, man. 
it just it something felt different because i'm asking that because we definitely would do something like that for someone you know that no this one this for one sure. is not one yeah you're not gonna you, you, i'm definitely not gonna do things like that for somebody yeah, who, yeah, yeah. no that's why I, I can't pinpoint exactly what it is because i hadn't even known her heart yet like for example her heart for me got exposed when she was dealing with street ministry people for example mm-hmm. with prostitutes that's when i saw her true heart so then already i was like this girl could be a narcissist for her. she could think she's the prettiest girl and that's where it ends so it, it really could be the the church thing for me it was yes i had dated girls in the church before and whatnot but this one do you know i figured out what it is no no you know this interview is good this interview is doing self-introspection do you know what it is this was probably the first girl that didn't inflate my ego let me okay. be very honest. What do you mean by that? Oh, nice. Here's the thing. I'm a yeah. singer, right? Yeah. yeah. The minute I start singing, a girl already is like, oh. for sure, yeah. And you're on stage. So and yeah. I'm on stage. And I'm a leader. And I'm overseer. You know, I'm all of that. Mm. And this girl looks at me like, mm. that. Because I told her, this doesn't, it's not to sound pompous, but I hate being rejected by women. Mm. I, I, oh, for sure. I absolutely, I hated it to a point where I wouldn't approach a, a random woman. I, I never would. Yeah. You know? I never did as well. You, you understand? Like, <laughs> to, 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 to approach a random woman, and then I, I did, I saw, oh my word, like, I, it cringe, but it's, yeah. it's cringy. Yeah. So, for her to, to be like, to me, it was like a challenge accepted. Sure. Yeah, and sure. then, furthermore, it's, why is she like yeah. this with me? Like, why is she not feeling my vibe? Why? Why? What's going on? Here? Wasn't that because you actually liked him, Isabel? That's why I gave you much I honestly don't know either when the switch happened between I like this guy or I don't like this guy too. I like you. Not too bad. It's the works. I would argue. I would argue that women act like that. Because deep inside the Emma Pagatini somewhere, yeah. it's because there's that, hey, but this guy, man, yeah. you know? <laughs> it's that thing that says, nice guys finish last. You and I are not the nicest guys. Yeah, for sure. For, for sure. sure, for sure. For sure. So, <laughs> and yet we, look, the man. Yeah, I know we're so, nice. <laughs> I, I, I really think first, like, that thing, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, I like yeah. that, though. But it's a beautiful love story, man. I think it's a beautiful love story because it has to do with being intentional. Yes. You know, yeah. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make sure that I get the prize. You know, yeah, I think I think, yeah. Yeah, so congratulations on yeah. that. Yeah, but I think you guys have sort of answered now this second question how you actually got to decide that this is the one I'm going to marry. Mm. I think we're more now interested to hear yeah. how Isabel got to that point yeah. <laughs> from. Like Aye, but even guys. for me, it took a while before getting there also, yeah? But like the first time... To marry and to date is two different stories. No, but mm. the first time you were together, you technically said, I'm going to marry you. I did. He was just talking nonsense. No, I wasn't. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Yeah, was just it was God-inspired. Uh, uh, so, it was the Holy Spirit speaking. Uh, uh, don't ever do that, guys. Don't do that. Yeah, like <laughs> don't, never don't, don't spiritualize me. dating. And Please said, don't do that. God but, said, you're yeah. my wife. Oh, no. never did that. Because mm. I, I think then you would have lost. Ah, I definitely would have like, lost. And God told me... What? Why hasn't God spoken to me? Sorry, sir. Yeah, I think you're mistaken. Yeah. yeah, no. yeah. What that convinced you? I don't know. I don't like. I'm, I don't remember. Uh, I, I just remember my friend saying, like, because we were using him mm. in our eyes, we were using him for food and lifts. And, <laughs> you know, yeah. the things students need. Mm. Mm. I just remember, like, one day my friend was like, "We're falling in love," and I was like, "I me." <laughs> I'm never getting married. Uh, this is not part of my plan. Like, mm, there's no way. Mm. And she was just really like, you like him, don't you? Like, no, I don't. Like, it was an argument the whole time. Yeah. Until he asked me out, then I said yes. yes. But now, from moving from that to saying yes to marrying me, yeah. what happened there? Yeah. How long did you guys date also? Not, two years. Not long. Two, two years, long. that's long. It's not long. I think two years is long. It's not long. It's not long. I think it's very long. I think two years <laughs> is long. Two years is long. Mm. I think it's long, but I think it's the perfect amount. But I think. Yes, yes I think I agree. So, in those two years, what made you say yes? No, I'm basically asking no, me I, questions. I want to know. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah, who wants the right train? I want no, to no, know. No, 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 that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was just the work that I saw that he was putting into. Mm. 
Oh my god, this guy's cleaning my flat. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I know he's gonna clean the house one day as a husband. Tick. Tick. Yeah. Because like I said, because <laughs> 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 like I said, I never wanted to get married. Like marriage is never part of the plan in my life ever. I think when I got engaged, even when I was dating him, everyone, especially people from high school, was like, you, what's going on? Like, with him? With, like, with him, oh, that was mm. the biggest, with this wild child, how did you end up with this wild child? They've never put you guys together. Never. Mm. So I think it was just the work that he just kept constantly putting in and how he respected so many of the things. Like I say, this wild child, but like, no boundary was ever pushed. Yeah. Nothing was ever. I was ever, gonna say that's another important thing. Like yeah. every everything I I like I said I was very Christian, like flaky Christian. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. But I was. It took us. It took us. It took us longer than a year to kiss. Yeah. So I was that girl. Yeah. that was Trying to not kiss till wow. we walked down yeah, the aisle. Crazy man. Not all. Nah, not all. My wife tried that one. <laughs> 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 not about that. <laughs> I'm <just> saying. <laughs> so yeah, he just never pushed any boundaries. Mm. He respected that my friend was always with us. He yeah. never complained about her being there. Like he was just the guy. He fit into the thing. He just, he just made things make sense. Yeah. Like, and oh, he one of the main. No, he wasn't. And he was mm. just making my life easier. Like without me feeling like a burden or without me having to mm. ask. Can you make my life easier? Can you do this for me? He would just do things. Mm. And the one thing is, I my nephew is like my son. Your life. This, this was this was yeah. my big my biggest one. And my nephew at the time yeah. uh, hated men. I mean, in my family it's just women. Mm. Most of the men know they are. And my father well. passed away. The ma- the main man in the family passed away. So it was just us women. So he had a thing against men. I suppose he just wasn't used to them. Mm. And he's also autistic. So um, he's much better now, but when he was young, he was really a difficult child to handle. And he used to, if he didn't like you, end of the story. From the moment he sees you, he likes you, he doesn't, and that's that. So I remember saying, Clean, I like that. Yeah, no, he was clumsy and human being. That guy, he'll say, I don't like you, don't yeah. touch me. You know? yeah, it makes life much it's easier. Much easier. So I remember saying, like, if my nephew doesn't like you, then it's a problem. It's done. Mm. Like, I'm not going to talk to you anymore because he was like my son. Yeah. Like, how can my son not like those guys? How's it going to work? I need it's to get rid of him then. Mm. And he came to my house and my nephew was there. And when he left that evening, my nephew cried for him. And I was like, what the fuck? What the hell? Because I was doing the thing. Right? Like Listen men. to the kids. And yeah. then I was like, right, okay, I think you can stay now. Yeah. Stay. yeah. That's so nice. And for you, Naledi, getting to that point of no, like so for me, mine is, mine is deeper than hers, way okay. deeper. Because I think us as men, like they say, this is actually true. Well, not true, but like, majority of the statement is true that within the first few months of meeting a girl, a man knows if they're going to know you or not. For sure, for sure. Mm. Not, not, it doesn't even take years. I'm saying it takes months. And why it takes months is because our, our tick list, our checklist is much, it's much more precise than women's. For example, when, when, when I'm choosing a mate, when I'm choosing my wife, I'm not thinking, yes, the looks are important. She must be good. I must like what I see. But that's not going to raise our children. Her looks are not going to raise our children. Um, when, when, when the poop hits the fan, her looks are not going to keep her in this marriage. It's not going to happen. So the biggest thing for me was, like I said, our heart. And when, uh, when we started serving together as Street Ministry, so Street Ministry is a, a ministry, a church that handles uh, working with prostitutes, um, helping them on the streets, helping them get off if they are ready to get off. Uh, human trafficking it's it's quite a it's quite a big ministry yeah um it happens in the evening so we go out in the evenings into the early morning so it's a very very sacrificial it's yeah. it's one of the most sacrificial ministries i've seen at church mm-hmm. so she she went the minute she arrived in this ministry i would argue that in general actually that yeah that's just yeah yeah so when she when she stepped into this ministry i was already in the ministry already a while 
Then she came in, and when she stepped in, oh, I had left the ministry. Oh, okay. You know what? It's this is technicalities. It's technicalities. It's technicalities. Technicalities, but. In fairness, I went there to spy out the land to see to see her heart. So yeah. she got to this ministry because I know how di I knew how difficult the ministry is, especially for women, because it's the women that interact with the prostitutes on the street. Yeah. Yeah. So I, this is this is like the I I, mean, for obvious reasons. Otherwise, uh, not expecting yeah. you, you understand. Yes. <laughs> yes. So so I knew if I see her in action there, I'll get the truest form of her heart, and she killed it like. To a point where she's leading the ministry today. Right? Sure. She she leads heads the ministry. So the minute I saw that, because you guys must remember now, that ministry requires you to if a girl wants to come off on a Friday night, you are out from ten till two AM and she decides she wants to get off right then and there, you need to go with her from there to the hospital directly. And then from the hospital you need to get her the safe house. From the safe house you need to get her groceries, food, toiletries. Mm -hmm. From toiletries you need to make contact with her family and that all gets done by this person. Yeah. So when I saw that immediately it's, it's not even a immediately i knew okay this is a heart that can raise a powerhouse family mm. uh, a selfless family a mm. family that will go out of their way to change other people's lives yeah, yeah? and that's always been the crowd of my heart to have yeah. a family that's not just for me myself and i yeah, yeah, yeah. and your wife is like the biggest extension of that because yes as a man you can have your children but your wife is the one that raises them your yeah. wife is the one that instills thoughts and opinions in their head that's your wife that's not you yes you can be present yes you can you can try your best but your child spends most of their time with her so for me that the changing point was seeing her heart for other people and that's when i knew okay this is a no-brainer this is a pretty wow. girl she's studying medicine oh uh, this is another thing her journey in medicine alone I feel like my so, so <laughs> it's fine. That's okay. <laughs> okay. That's okay. It's, it, it's all right. We're, wow. we're, we're two different people. Yeah. It's okay. Mm. We yeah. made this face. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. But so when it came to her medicine studies, so we started dating and then um, she had failed the first year. So and then she got kicked out of medicine. So any person after getting kicked out of medicine would have just decided, you know what? Let me go do something else. Yeah. Let me try and not this girl. She decided, okay, I'll do nursing. If 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 I have to do nursing and finish nursing, I'll do it. And I was there to see that. I was there to see how she'd wake up and go, even when she hated it. Like mm. nursing is a it's not an easy calling in itself. Yeah. And to know that you're meant to be a doctor, but I'm busy doing nursing sure. right now. Right? That's sure. a very biblical. It's like Joseph. Yeah. It's like knowing I'm meant to yeah. be a king, but I'm in yeah. the prison or I'm in the pit, <laughs> being sold, being used. So, but I'm staying in the journey. You understand. So, no, me knowing my Bible and then me seeing this story come to life in my eyes was like, yo, this person is faithful, yeah? Not only to themselves, to their calling and to God, they're just faithful. They just know I must be a doctor. Mm. And that for me was like, I needed that. I, I needed somebody like that for me, for my calling. Because as a musician, you can easily get discouraged and say, Ish, this is not going to work. In that moment, I need somebody who has that faith to come and say, yo, don't forget. That's all. Don't forget. Yeah. That's it. Because she didn't forget. Yeah. So when, when I saw that happen, and then her getting back into medicine and how faithful she's been throughout this journey, again, a no-brainer. It was like, a, yeah. I have a pretty wife who's studying medicine, who does never gives up, who loves people. Like what else get on one knee. One more get on one knee time. right now. Yeah, 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 yeah you understand. Yeah. So, oh, that is so uh, yeah, oh, man. Ooh, like this video needs to get you like seven hundred likes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Come on, somebody. Yeah, that's So, I know that you guys had a very like unconventional wedding day, wedding prep situation. Can you tell us a bit about that? Like everything leading up to the wedding, yeah. love all negotiations. Yeah, dealing with the different cultures also. Yeah. Because 
Yeah. One is a what? One is a so yeah. two, one is a what? Oh, actually, one people don't know what. what? <laughs> people don't know what my wife one is. is a something. <laughs> <laughs> She's a pavement specialist. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So, my wife's mom is Portuguese. I'm lying. What? Wow. My, my mom's dad was Portuguese. What do you say? My mom's dad. <laughs> Explain yourself. My dad was Portuguese mm. and my mom is Sutu. So, so keep mix. I am me. Yeah. Yeah. A Portuguese. <laughs> <Sutu. laughs> <I'm a Sutu. laughs> yeah, something like that. Afro Latino. Mm. So yeah. Tell me about the Mabola thing first. Okay. What are the expectations then to from your side? So first of all, from my mom's side, they are not traditional people at all. Um my mom says when my dad wanted to marry her, being a Portuguese man. He went, he didn't know obviously how it works and whatever, mm. but like I said, they're not a traditional, they're very modern yeah. type of family. Mm. So when my dad went to go ask my grandfather for my mom's family marriage, um, my grandfather said, okay, it's fine, because his, his expectation was, okay, he's going to have to pay, how does it work? Mm. And my grandfather told him, Please just buy a cow. Give money for one cow so that we can slaughter the day, and that's that. And when they went on the day, he so my dad gave like, my grandfather. I think it was a thousand rand back then. Mm-hmm. And my grandfather, the next time he saw him, gave him change. Sure. He said, <laughs> "Hey, what just, a faithful man!" Huh? Right? Sure. And he said, "I bought the cow. It cost eight hundred rand. Cheers for two hundred rand change. Yeah. I'm doing this just so that the uncles don't speak out. But me personally." I don't care. Mm. I don't believe this. I don't. I don't want to. I don't to. care for it. Yeah, yeah, I don't care for it. Mm. So when the the whole thing with Nabola came, so technically, I suppose you always take over your father's side, and which is Portuguese. But my father had already passed by the time I was getting married. So the main stakeholder in the family was just my mom, mm. and she's also not mm. about that life. Mm. She's not about that life, but. Prior to that, after my father passed, we went through a lot of financial difficulties and all that jazz. And someone that carried me through financial difficulties was this, this guy. guy. So Work. She, yeah. she, knew, <laughs> she knew the things he was doing, but I was also... Oh, that means you feel so good, Nelly. No, it's work. <laughs> work. I was also work. Like, very sly with it because I wanted it to see like he's putting in so much work. Mm. So I'd be like, Mom, I need medication blah 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 can you send me money knowing she can't and then be like 10 minutes later oh don't worry Nelly just came for it yeah. don't worry don't worry <laughs> and then mom I need this and this for school and then like 10 minutes later I wouldn't even give her a day just a few minutes just so she can see I needed it yeah. and it's been taken care yeah. of like I kept doing that yeah. just so that she can see that this guy's working yeah and then when the time came and we were like listen is the family gonna have an issue we are not a very tight-knit family it's just my mom my sister mm. myself mm. so um obviously there's other family members but we don't really listen to what they so have much. to say okay. kind of thing mm. so i was like oh they gonna have an issue you know how's it gonna be if we go to family whatever whatever and she was like listen all the things that he has done for you i consider that he has paid more than enough Makes yeah. up in us dating yeah. he's taken care of you so well so mm-hmm. i would never ask him even if the uncle said he must pay level i would tell them no no i'm not seeing the lemonna so because now they were supposed to list you all the things is the doctor you understand you understand would you move on would you loves me look at him at 200k and it loves me no the man loves me so yeah. yeah so she then she was she was fine with that mm. and uh culturally yeah even on his side of the family there is still going to be a traditional wedding yeah. at some point but our, our, family, our family our family uh, dynamics family are quite broken drama so, so once yeah. we get that sorted there's no point in trying to do something we hate this thing of there's issues in the family and then we're all just acting okay, okay when there's a, right. a function i we don't right. do that we nope. we make that's it known chaos. that we don't that's toxic. we don't believe yeah. in this it's not right so until we fix it we're not gonna yeah. be there mm. so until everyone is sane again we'll we'll put happen. that on hold yeah. but yeah that was the lobola story there was no mm. lobola then our wedding any side of the family no. Was there? no like i said my side is actually the more toxic side so yeah. it was we can't 
I can't bring my wife into a toxic environment and then act like everything is okay, like you guys like her or nothing to do with her, obviously. Mm. The situation was another situation. It's just now I'm trying to bring marriage into this toxic situation sure. and we want to act like a sharp and we're mm. not. Like we, we are far from it, you get what I'm saying? So that toxicity I think can sometimes spill into your marriage. Yeah. Especially if you if you open your marriage up to it and now you have uncles busy telling your wife, yeah, Mara, go, 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 go. Hey, yeah. and then let's not do that. Let's hey. not let's not do that. I, I always say this. I always say because the the same criticism we can have for Christianity, we can have for cultural stuff. Sure. Yeah. So I always tell people the same. Nobody wants to have. Do you understand? So I always tell people the same conversation you want to have about Badim. I kid you. You judge my Christianity about it. Let's see where Badim have helped you first and foremost, yeah. and let's see that your life is in order with Badim. Because yeah. you say I kid you, that's the that's the secret, yeah. yeah? So with Badim, let's see if your life is in order. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So not not to speak against Badim or anything, but if you're gonna judge my Christianity, let's let's let's, let's level judge, up the yeah. equal, 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 equal ground. Equal ground, yeah. yeah. So the minute what like Badim, Badim, but like a chaos. With, you come with chaos, you come with toxicity, and then my marriage must enter that environment. It doesn't, and then my kids also in the future must enter that environment. It doesn't make sense. Mm. Yeah. I'm exposing my people to fake family. That's yeah. that's that's what that's how I see it. Too, you understand? Yeah. But his mom is great. But my mom is yeah. okay. Yeah. She's, she's, she's no, they mom. they're the best of buddies. Yeah. My mom yeah. and his my mom is great. Yeah, the my people mom that I, matter to us. We get yeah. along. We're like this. As long Which as is the point really. As long as that's they were the, the ones most that important were okay thing. with the marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Good. yeah. So yeah, then our wedding day was very like it was us. It was yeah. our day. Personally, I don't like weddings. I Same here too. Like, as soon as the ceremony is over and the vow is done, and you have said, let's do this thing together. It's really let's go over. home. Mm. Let's go home. <laughs> let's mm. let the couple enjoy life. Yeah. But also for us, so I sing at a lot of weddings. So it was like a yeah, another one, but it's mine. But another one. Yeah. Okay. It's like okay. you know. Okay. So for us, the biggest thing was we wanted to go on a really, really long honeymoon. Mm. Like, so our wedding. We got married on a Friday. Our wedding was done by six o'clock the evening. Mm -hmm. By seven o'clock, we were already in Joburg. By six? <laughs> sure. No, by yeah, six, we were already in Joburg. And you we guys left, left your guests at the wedding. We yeah. left our guests at the wedding but nicely. Guys. We the said peace. Out. Thank guys. <laughs> <laughs> we said cheers. Keep on, man. Keep Are you having out. fun? Mm. <laughs> sure. Wait, but one people were weird about it though. Like, hey, what are these people doing? I'm sure some were. Some were, but mm. 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 yeah. Mm. It Apparently was it was an after party at my mom's house, yeah, so we didn't know that. Oh. Yeah. After party. So when yeah. I was checking my phone the next day, people were having no, no, the time of their lives at this yeah. after party. Mm. But yeah. While we were worshiping, they were busy partying. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> love that. See what you did there. <laughs> so yeah, it was. It, yeah, for us it was great. Mm. I had a good time. Yeah. No. So. We but wanted to use as little money as yeah. possible. That was my goal. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I had, like you said, I had just fought to get back into medicine. So I think school closed on the Thursday and the wedding was on Friday. So I took two days, one day, two days off. And it was still, I was still doing the street ministry at end function. And we still had our last premarital counseling event. And like it was such a busy week. Yeah. And my mom came and it was just chaotic. Yeah. I just yeah. wanted to be over and done with. If I could have in that week changed my mind and cancelled everything and got you all my money back, I would have done it. Would have. Yes. And just went straight yeah. to the So now honeymoon. my biggest, not regret, it was really, it was a good time. Mm. Oh, but if I knew then what I knew now, I probably would have had a wedding. As that's small cool. and as different it would have been as it was, yeah, it would have been smaller. It would have that. been smaller, quicker. How yeah. many guests do you guys have at yeah. the wedding? So, we were supposed to have 100. Only 100. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we have families. So okay. I don't know how many people eventually rocked up mm. that we didn't invite. But they're like, what is he doing? Ah, what? Who's like, that? There was just a whole <laughs> bunch of people. Yeah, really yeah. was. We yeah. that the hardware as well. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. So I don't know how many people eventually. Maybe 120, 130. Mm. But for us, we went 100. 100. Yeah. Mm. But then, yeah. So then our, our honeymoon was three weeks long. Mm. So. And it was over the December time, so it was like, okay, yeah, let's proper vacation. Yeah, yeah, let's double this as a honeymoon and a vacation. So yeah, we flew to Bali, three mm. weeks disappeared. It was the best time. I, I, that's when that's when the travel bug bit us. Like yeah. together, we're like, yo, this has to be what we do. Remember, you've never traveled with your wife or partner yeah. up until then. Yeah. And then when you get there, it's just so much fun because it's just the two of you yeah. in a country where nobody speaks your language. Yeah. 
So we oh, just wow. have and then no fight. And man, fight. like <laughs> it was. You know, when you just you, you at some point and you like just dumb stuff are happening, but you're together. So it's yeah. like this That's is all that matters. Yeah. This is man. fun. Yeah. Yeah. So when that happened, we're like, yo, okay, we want this to be the rest of our lives. Mm. Like this fun, easy, like it's just all about having fun. That's mm. that's, that's literally, yeah. and that's that's our wedding. Yeah. And we keep telling people, do your wedding your way, man. Your way. Yeah. Unless, unless other people are paying. Different story. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Different unless story. Unless other people are paying. Unless yeah. other people are paying. Or if your paying. parents are paying. I don't know. Yeah. The dynamics then. Different, different story. Because yeah. if they're paying for it, they no, do what they want. If they're paying where people are coming. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and they want to invite 500 people. Go for Bring it. them. Yeah. So if you can afford to pay. pay. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No. Then do you? So I was not interested in planning my wedding at all. I being engaged was the worst time ever it for me. It was tense. Oh my word. It was t- because I don't of all the planning. Yo, not I only was, that. Do you know how much money engaged for? Six months. Okay. Five months. Five months. Mm. And in that oh. five months, as a man. I've never seen that much amount of money leave my account ever in my life. For sure. And our wedding it was, was scary. Yeah. Our wedding was next to nothing. No. We had so many sponsors. <laughs> no, no, no. Like it was oh, yeah. the yeah. blessing of the Lord. We had so many things given to us and sponsors. And us. still. I mean, my whole kitchen tea, like everything was just yeah. happening. But it was still just. Like still I think it's because we both didn't really want to do it. Yeah. So it, so it wasn't like, like, oh, we're spending money on something we want to do. Yeah. Like, spending like, money for the honeymoon. Paying for the flight was easy. But we didn't mind. Easy. Like, let's yes. do it. Yeah. But Those little the, finger snack foods and, and oh wow. my goodness. Dress. <laughs> Dress suits. Yeah. I remember the week of the way I'm like, mm, I need makeup. Oh, wow. I need yeah. to do that. How much is that? Oh, how much oh. is that? Oh, how much is that? Like, for makeup. I, I hate it. I, I hate it. I hate it. I won't lie. It was, yeah. And now, you, you're not seeing her often. You're engaged, Mara. You must still say goodnight at the end of the night. What but months? you know your five to get married. So, <laughs> it's, it's, it's so childish. It's so childish. It was, so childish. Yeah. It was wow. really, and yes. I still had school. Yeah. So, I remember, uh, Amo, again, she did everything. She mm. was my bridezilla. Yeah. I did, like, I didn't need to... I just chilled. She was the one she that was did running around everything for me because I was just like, mm. I need to do school. Mm. And then in that last week, I'll come and be a bride. And that's exactly and how that's it happened. what I did. Wow, oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Placed. So you guys got married super young. You were what? 23. 23 mm. and 21. you were? 21. 21. Damn. Yeah, damn, for yeah, real. Yeah. yeah, no, no. That's proper, yeah. Very. No, too young. No, no. Yeah. I wonder if I met my childhood. But no. it's young now. Because for yeah, the most part, the our day. grannies and our granddads got That's married true. at that. I mean, 18, these guys are getting married. Yeah, but life was very different. Things were different then. Yeah. 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 Things were very different then. That's true. How, how different though, were they? There were so I've many never really understood that. Um, the element of. Yeah. There were so many different dynamics. I've had to, back in the day, marriages were even arranged to yeah. a large extent. You know. On the financial side, there wasn't that much pressure on a man, also, to be honest. Uh. Life was much cheaper. You could buy a house for. 80,000 rand that but house the thing that is, everyone was still broke though like everyone was like more broke than what we That's are now. and with like 11 yeah. kids <laughs> yes but it worked if they you think it about it somewhere. they weren't really that broke guys like they? W- if if somebody was a teacher and a nurse that was a good house that was a good no, house but the thing is none of them were teachers and nurses guys. <laughs> those are those were our dads and our moms but their parents were just they were, yeah. They, uh, yeah. Ah. I, don't know. I think just the fact that life was because there was no, there were no teachers and what was oh, yeah. the, happy, cost happy. Of the standard yabu pillow also, Leona's yeah. wedding. Happy you could long. live high, like with my family and those guys. Yes, yeah. the wife went and stayed with the parents. Yes, the yeah. Yeah. Like that, that wasn't frowned upon. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. True. So now society says 21 and 23 years is way too young. Yes. How did you guys deal with that element of um, the society, you know? Okay, maybe that. bashing you guys or we don't care them but what i will say is we thought we were better we thought we were better we thought oh we're getting married yeah it's okay it'll be easy maybe no. you thought you were better uh, I, I, I thought i yeah. was mature mm. i i thought because of all my life experiences yeah. and you know not having the easiest life i thought you're ready. i can handle I can, this i'm ready like yeah. a lot of elders would tell I'm, us hey lord you are young mm. and yeah. you'd be like ah. yeah we're yeah. in love and that's all that matters. initially when i wanted to, like when we spoke about marriage i told my mom she was like no 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 we're getting a degree we're gonna be stable 
Yeah. You know, the story Hello. that we hear. That mm. you, you don't need a man first. I want you to focus on yourself, have your own money, do your own things, and then you can You'll get think married. About you know? marriage, yeah. And when she was like, okay, you can get married, and everybody then is like, no, but you're so mature, you're so mature for your age. You know, you're like, ah, man, I'm I, can like, I, I can do this. Yeah, so, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah, what is the worst? Right? <laughs> what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> 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 the worst that can happen. So, so yeah, I think, um, yeah, I, I feel a lot older than I am, I must remind myself. But I also feel very young at the same time. Mm. But in hindsight, you wouldn't do it again at that, that early. That early. I don't. Like I'm saying, because so many things had happened in life, I didn't feel 21. Mm. I felt yeah. 30, man. I was mm. like, I am not to settle. <laughs> mm. I'm not trying to ask my favorite color. Like, and <laughs> because, <laughs> get married, I'm not doing this. Yeah. And because I never wanted to get married, mm. it's like, okay, this guy has my heart and I want to marry him. Like, ah, there's really let's no one. It, yeah. Let's just do it. Mm. I'm, I'm not going to waste my time. Mm. Yeah. And then there was also the element of everyone saying, if you start young, you build. Sure. And by Which the time fair. you get to yeah. 30, you're so, you know, ahead of someone yeah. that gets married at 30. Which we can say that now only. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can say that now But only. like I said, in mm-hmm. hindsight. Like so back then, let's talk to back then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Back then, there, there were societies. Not really, because... No, baby, society... No, no, no. Most Think people frowned upon it. No, no. In Think, the church, is different. Oh, that's what yeah, I was yeah. saying. The, the, the people that we cared true. about was the church, what the church had to say. Mm. And in the church, it was normal to get mm. married at 21. Like, really? It was actually... It was old. Yeah. There were people who yes. were getting married at 19. 19. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. so Plus, I think... Yeah. So then it was like, mm, I'm a granny, I'm ready, I can mm. do this thing. Mm. Obviously, outside society, my mom was, was very like, different. Yes. crazy. You're still in school. Yeah, like, what, what are you, are you doing? Yeah. All that stuff. So I think, mm. yes, it's just because we didn't care about what other people had to say, and because to us, the important people were okay with it, yeah. we thought, it's okay. Is, it's, we're okay. It's, it's, we're okay. Mm. We can do this. Like, as long as, you know, our wise council, our pastors, they were the ones that were like, no, no, you're good to go. Mm. We were like, okay. We're good to go. No, we can do. We can yeah. do this. Mm. But as for society, question. getting married that young, I think it must require some level of confidence and um, stuff like that. Weren't you guys scared that, like, let me ask this differently. Um, weren't you guys scared about growing up and having other thoughts and ideas to say, ah, maybe, like. What was that element of confidence that you guys had to say, no, but this is definitely it and this is go, you know, going to work at that we age? Have two totally different answers. Yeah, my answer is going to be to what she said. It's because we life, so much of life has happened to us at that age already. Because, for example, by that age, both our dads were gone. Uh, mm, so you guys naturally had to mature. I was getting myself to she was getting herself to varsity. By, by that myself, time, yeah. I had dropped out of varsity to pursue music and yeah. was already on. Yeah. Something yeah. was on. Yeah. So very independent yeah. at our age. So the confidence came from that to say. So it's a mindset yeah. thing, yeah. basically. It was a mindset thing to say, okay, already at this age, I don't really rely on my mom anymore. Yeah. So I can do I can this. Do this. Yeah. There's nothing like, you know, a lot of. Uh, brides will struggle to say I left home and you know leaving home was so difficult mm-hmm. I wasn't mm-hmm. I didn't think leaving my mom's house and staying with this man is going to be a shock to my system but for me it was like she's been I was in hostel yeah. I live alone I've she's been, been in hostel since grade 8 so it's mm-hmm. like so it was like no finally I'm not going to be alone anymore thank yeah. god like yeah. I'm going to have a husband yeah. so there were so many things it, it, it was a confidence thing but I think also, like in terms of, am I not going to change? Am I not going to want a different partner? I think we'll just differ. I don't know what your answer is going to be. But for me, it was, like I said, I was in Setsu and I didn't want to get married. Mm. So when I fell in love with him, it was like, surely he's the one. Sure. Mm. Like, I always tell him, even now, when we like, what do you do? If you die, are you going to remarry? Those questions, those, mm-hmm. those conversations you have. And I'm always like, I really don't think so. Because still now I'm not attracted to other guys I still mm. don't feel like I'm never like it's just feel. with you it's that just this with you that yeah. this opening mm. happened mm. so for me it was never a question of I, will I ever feel at some point that I don't want to be with him or that damn it maybe I'm more interested in a different type of man now mm. that was never a thought yeah. Oh, yeah. it was a thought but it was like nah not me mm. 
I don't know on your side. No, mine, mine was, mine is totally different. So, a funny thing that happens as a man is the minute we got married, it's like I fell out of love with Isabel, and I fell and I fell in love with the wife. You want the juice? Okay. So, the sauce. Take a deeper man of God. Yeah, this is this is this. It gets a bit deep, but. Because that thing of when you get married young and then you, you kind of think in yourself, ah, other things won't come later. For me, it wasn't other people necessarily. It was, like I said, I fell, I fell out of love with Isabel and I fell in love with a wife. Yeah. With the idea. With the, yeah. the, and that comes with expectations. Yes. That comes with, and when, once those things aren't met, mm. that's when you start to think to yourself, but Did you've I changed, right? you, you, you understand. Yes. Yes. So, so that's what I went through to think, hey, this person has changed. Or, mm. With my expectations, now the expectations aren't being met. Time, like yeah. we have goals to achieve, and yes. and everything is just going backwards. Yes. So that that's something I had to learn very very yeah. quickly. Is you still married to the, the same person you dated? Huh? Yeah. So it wasn't very quickly, but fairly. Yeah. Maybe in the context of how long marriage is, it's yeah. quickly. Yeah. It's yeah. quickly. Yeah. Trust me. Hmm. <laughs> if if like I said, I'd fall, I'd fallen out of love with Isabel. And it got me thinking, this person that I dated, sure. not once did I have these wild, crazy expectations. Not once, not once. Mm-hmm. Now suddenly, I, be like this you understand. Must have done this she must always coach you. Do you understand? Now once I've put a ring on it, I've, I've fallen in love with, I've fallen out of love with the person. I've fallen in love with the idea of what a wife should be, mm. which is the most dangerous thing. And that's where I think if you married young, you don't see that. You don't see that. If you get married later, remember, it's very different if you get married later and your wife is already working and your yeah. wife, it's very different. You, you guys are already established. You guys are established. Okay. You guys are and meeting. You're finding, each other. you're finding each other. Both established. It's very different. Whereas yeah. when you're young, you need to grow through these things. Yes. And th- that's when I... Figure it out together. Yeah. That's when yeah. the Bible talks yeah. about... Yeah. Literally, there's a scripture for it. The Bible literally t- talks about growing in the maturity of marriage. Mm. It, you're not just born. That's why Isabel and I have this great analogy that we use. Every time it's our anniversary, this year was our four-year anniversary. We, last, year. last year was our four-year anniversary. We, we measure it up to a child growing up. What can a child at four years old do? They just started walking. They just started forming sentences. They're just starting to think. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. That's exactly the same with your marriage. Mm. Now, if you get married young, you don't see that. You don't yeah. see your... This person still needs to grow into marriage the same way you need to grow into marriage. Mm. Who the hell are you as a husband to now think you have this thing sorted to the point where automatically everything's going to fall into place you understand where you as a husband are so pompous to think you have it in control and your wife is the wrong one she needs to figure it out why are you not meeting my expectations this this that is a recipe for a disaster yeah like and we evaded it only only by the grace of god and by wise counsel that's the only thing Okay. That's that's the only that's the only way we evaded that thing because that thing leads to divorce trust me now i'm telling you now 100% 100% if, if you as a man don't snap out of that idea of what your wife should be, yeah. matter of time, matter of time. I like that. I like that a lot. Reason why, hmm? okay, sorry, yeah. reason why I asked that question is because the people that will be watching this, mm. I wanted to manage this so that people don't think, hey, let's just get married. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> no. We are realistic you here. We are realistic. Yeah, yeah, because even I wanted to get married young and it's for the same reasons as you, you know, so that we can grow together hey, to figure build this, this thing life out, build yeah. and you know yeah so that's 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 really beautiful and i think that can very easily like you guys just explained very easily get lost because it's not yet a reality no, the growing good. and yeah. what, what until you're actually now in the same space yeah. you actually have to grow and yeah. you're like oh is this what no oh, but this is not no it's yeah. not what i meant <laughs> yeah. this was supposed i'm to growing yes, yes, you're you know, holding us back literally you're holding us back baby what's going on yeah. dating and marriage is two different things don't ever think and i always say this imagine this there are people who go through their dating and they have challenges hard challenges mm. in their yeah. dating then they think they get married and it's just going to disappear. Mm. No. This thing is a magnifying glass. So whatever happened in your dating is going to be magnified in your marriage. Now, yeah. what makes it worse is it's two different things altogether. Don't mm-hmm. ignore the red flags. Oh, yeah, don't ignore the red flags, first and foremost. But even, even beyond that, I, I'd like to say that once you, once you move over from dating to marriage, turn a new page, even scrap the book, tear the whole book of dating apart. 
it is actually biblical. Tear the book of dating apart. Start over. Start over and say, okay, we are now husband and wife. We're not boyfriend and girlfriend. What does this mean? First, understand what it means. Yeah. What does this mean that we are husband and wife now? Yes. We're not girlfriend and boyfriend anymore. Yes. Secondly, understand what it means going forward. It means you can't just walk out the door anymore. Yes. We're yeah. dating. If you got angry, you could get into your car and leave. That can't or happen now. Or or next week. Do you understand? Yeah. Do you, now it's now is we have to sleep on the couch. No, we're not doing the couch now. We have to sleep back to each other in the bed because mm. that's that's the reality, people. And it's in the first two years of marriage, mm. guaranteed. Not guaranteed, not guaranteed, but we're too young to guarantee. We're too, we're too young to guarantee, but we're talking from personal personal yeah. personal experience. Our dating was flawless, guys. Yeah. Our, our dating life was amazing. So Nothing nice. it was. Yo. It was beautiful. That's it was so blessed. Nice. That's why marriage yeah. seems yeah, like that's such amazing. a it just makes exactly. It was so dating to do. was so exactly. yeah. dating was blessed, and then you get married and you realize it's it. Okay. <laughs> this person has vibes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's here. She's here. Yeah. can go. I'm ah, here. Yeah. 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 Changes everything. Changes yeah. everything. Don't ever think that it. It's it's yeah changes everything so what was the first year of marriage like Definitely the first not easy the first year the, fir- <laughs> the, fir- the first few months were fine and then yeah. six months first six months were fine and when then yeah just challenges, challenges yeah. 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 first six months was honeymoon really then the bubble got popped very quickly and then the aggravating factor was covert lockdown so already marriages that are already 15 years in into lockdown Lockdown caused them to divorce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's that's a statistic. Yeah, yeah. Statistic. Mm-hmm. Ah, statistic. Yeah. Statistic. They shakara yeah. Come on, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so, speaking. So, for us, speaking we for got. Us, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. For us, we got married 2018, mm-hmm. 2019. The first challenges started. 2020 lockdown. It was like a. Yeah, literally yeah. it was like a. Yeah. Like it was. It was. Yeah. It was. It was something else, right? Not- so. Lockdown wasn't bad for me. Mm. It no, was no, the precipitating factors. Yeah, and I'm an extrovert. Remember, the, you have to think. No, no, I'm saying for me. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Mm. She's an introvert. She. I loved it. Yeah. Mm. For me, nice. it was a nightmare. So you got frustrated. Oh man. Me being oh. at home. Remember, not, seven. And I'm not making money great. anymore. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Money's not being made. She's not working. I'm not working. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I'm a man. Yeah, What's going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. Got you. And I'm an extrovert. What's going on? Mm. It was, it was but, a night. I think the issue with us was the, is- the issues spilled over, and then in by COVID we hadn't dealt with the issues, yes. and now we're in a confined space. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And we need to now. Now you're confronted now you with these have issues. Each other and oh, yeah. 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 Now it's a must. Yeah. And yeah. there's no work to run away to. I'm days. very confrontational all the time. Mm. If I have an issue, if I don't like something. I will confront you mm. and ask you what's going on. Let's talk about it. He's yeah. not confrontational. Yeah. So now you're in a house with issues that aren't resolved, and I'm getting irritated that why are we just resolving this issue? Mm. And I'm confronting the whole time, like let's just deal with this. Mm. You can't run away. He yeah. must. It was just a recipe for a lot of tension. Yeah. But that is and how did you guys like? How did you guys get back into a space where okay? No, yes, I do love you, and yes, we are meant to be together. We thank God for Grace wise counsel. Yeah. and wise counsel. Grace yes. and wise, wise counsel. Counsel save my ass. Mm. The people that have, the people that have been there before, because trust me, most marriages, chances are we've all been there before, where you're not liking the each other. <laughs> no, majority of marriages, if you've been married. No, claim to be happy twenty four seven. Sure. Yeah. Nah. Amen. Nah. Amen. Amen. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> more of us should be more of us should become more real. People are always yes. acting like yes. marriage is yes. twenty four yes. seven. And I think that's also another thing that happens when you especially if you get married young and then you're looking at these people and you're like, But I, I can't be the why we're gonna get divorced because yeah. we're the only ones struggling. No Everyone one else is struggling. Happy. Everyone yeah. had great first year of marriage, second year of marriage, third year What's of marriage. What's wrong with us? What are we doing? Yes. You're not the right one. Yeah. We shouldn't have done this. And then when you speak to people and you they realize, tell you their oh, stories this in is more private, than you think. you're like, oh, some even Some will even be like, damn, you are still there. Yeah, and some mm-hmm. people are like, you hear their stories and you're like, I'm yeah. sorry for complaining. Yeah, I'm so, literally like, yeah. yes. I'm taking it back. I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna introspect. It's, mm. it's mm. under problem. Yeah. You know. So mm. I think also people not being open about the struggles of, of my yeah. I remember I was we were going through something and I was just going through a lot mm. and I was like you know what 
I really feel it's going to sound so crazy, mm. but I really feel it was a God inspired thing to contact this one person, this mm. one friend. And obviously, in doing that, I'm going to expose what we're going through. So I asked him, Do you mind if I speak to, uh, she's a friend of ours, do you mind if I speak to her and tell her what's going on? Mm. I just really feel like I need to speak to her. And she's really a full cool human being. She won't look at you with any judgment after you, because obviously you must protect that. Yes, you don't want yes. us to be okay, and then this person and was is still like, I yeah. you tomorrow. Mm, like, oh, you know? yeah. So he was okay with it, and I spoke to her, and she had gone through something similar. Mm. And I was like, oh, thank wow. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, yes. because she, she just put so much level-headedness back into mm, my head. Perspective. Like, mm. after that, I was like, okay, I'm okay. It's okay. I can yes. do this. We can do this. Yeah. It will get She's better. helping me. Yes. We can, we can yeah. do this. So, yeah, I think one of the major things was Wise Council, our pastors mm. being there for us at any point in and time. And here's the biggest one, actually. So, a lot of the big things in marriage comes from a man's pride. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And if you as a man, and I'm speaking obviously to the Christian man, if you're not Christian, we pray for you. You'll get saved in the name of Jesus. But <laughs> Come to the Father. <laughs> What's the song we sing at church? <laughs> but in general, as a Christian man, yeah, and if you're a strong Christian man, and you don't have somebody you can submit to, but w and when I, when I mean this, I mean it with all reverence and all seriousness. If you as a Christian man don't have somebody who can tell you to jump and you say how high without asking questions, you are in trouble. Because a man's pride can get in the way of many things. Your pride can even get in the way of raising your children. So a man's pride needs to be crushed. It needs to be destroyed in marriage. And the only way it can be done is not by your wife, it's by another man. Another married man who's been married longer than you, who is, you can submit to, who is your leader. Who, if you go to and you say, listen, this is what my wife is doing to me. He's not going to now take your side and stroke your ego. He's going to tell you, but what did you do for her to be like that? That's very important because if you're not doing that as a man mm. and your pride gets in the way, you're going to regret it because I've seen this happen so many times where the Bible says the pride comes before the fall, yeah? Mm -hmm. And that fall from marriage is not, it's not gracious, it's, it's ugly. I've seen men divorce and it's ugly. It's, not, it's, it's something that I don't wish on anyone. Um, psychologists normally say divorce is worse than losing a parent actually because that person is still alive that you are divorced from. And divorce is, a, divorce is a death of a covenant. Remember that, never forget that. This is a covenant. So your pride can't be what gets in the way of a covenant. Think about that. Because your pride sometimes gets in the way of your salvation, right? So for that to be happening, just let me know that you as a man aren't submitted to authority. You are, you are authority to yourself. And that's the most dangerous man you can ever find. A man who's an authority to himself, who nobody can tell you Go left and you, yeah. you don't go left. Every time when somebody tells you left, you say right. You, you are doomed. I used to be like that. Do not be like that. It's, it's, it's a recipe for disaster. So, and that's why I say it because that's been one of the reasons that this lady has been able to say, I still love you. It's because yeah. I'm able to die to myself. You, you understand? Yeah. That's, yeah. that's one, that's, one thing. We've only been married for two minutes. Yes. So we're not really not long. So we really don't know. We can't give advice. Like we said, a four-year-old is a child still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And four-year-olds can't give advice. Four-year-olds can't give advice. So like we give glory to God still. <laughs> some people don't get to. So yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we really yeah. do. So yeah. I mean, the thing that we're speaking about is something that we went through, which yes. is why yes. we can't speak about. Yeah. We're not speaking about say a man who doesn't have authority blah blah mm. because we saw yes mm. we've seen it happen with a lot of people as well we but we lived it so we mm. know yes. in that regard mm. we can comment on that and it's something we've i think we've con conquered still conquering still conquering yeah. by yes. the grace of god yeah. but it's much better than, mm. than i mean like if poor road we die daily who are, who are we <laughs> yeah i i just know wise counsel was the saving grace, you know, those two ladies, they were really my oh, favorite. Man. And, and even our pastor as well, because like you said, he, he never chose sides. In a, if you were wrong, you were wrong. Yeah. And there's no point in going to wise council if you're not going to be honest with your wise yes, counsel. Yes, be honest, be transparent with your wise counsel. Mm. What I love about this conversation is a lot of the similarities. Yes. You know? Yes. We're the same age also, ne? We're the same age, you guys are the same age. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's yes. so dope. Yes. 
See? That's what she needed to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, I also wanted to add a skis how to Jalo, just to say, like, we haven't been married for, like, this has just been a year. Yeah, we're but infants. But a, a no. lot of the things that was that were mentioned by Nadine and Isabel already, I feel mm. like, yes, I can mm. attest to that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that is so yeah. true. Yeah. You yeah. know? Hence, 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 I was thinking that the challenges you guys went through, I think they're more character based. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. the fact that this one is like this, this one is like yeah. this. And That's actually spot on. You're, you're right. Find, um, the middle, which gap. is exactly what we went through, yeah. you know. And the thing that you said about um, um, the, 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 the having authority in your life, that's exactly what my wife always said as well, you know, which I think yes, was the saving the grace. Mm. Yes, mm. which I think was the saving grace to our marriage as well. You know, the fact that there was somebody there to manage me, yeah. <laughs> you know, the ego yes, thing that the lady man. said, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Otherwise, this thing would have been like oh way God. out of control, yes. yeah. you know. <laughs> Like it's, it feels like you're speaking to a, a rock, a literally a wall. And when it happens, you just keep like you're adding petrol to the fire. When you keep speaking to this rock, because now you become it's a nagging okay. wife. Tell, tell them, tell and them about the scripture. What I was about to say, say about a listen, wife? Yeah, here's the talking to the camera. Mm-hmm. How many scriptures are there the about camera. it? First I and foremost, I always thought there's one scripture that mentioned a nagging wife. I think there's seven. I could be nah, nah. Seven scriptures seven about the scriptures nagging wife. Let's speak about sure. the nagging wife. Mm. One says it's better to be in a desert. The one says it's better to tie something and go jump in, and the, jump ocean in the ocean than to have a nagging drown. wife. So don't be a nagging wife. As but d- it's very difficult to be a, not to be one. In mm. the situation or in the circumstance, it almost sounds like we think we are better because sometimes you recognize where, say, your husband is going left, and I'm sure there are times he's recognized that I'm going right. But at that moment, you think, okay, okay, now's my time as the wife. Mm. Praying wife, um, let me yeah, save let him. Me step you know, in, let me step in. And then you speak to him and then the ego part comes yeah. in where he's like, um, yeah. no. And then you keep on talking yeah. to this person because about the same think, thing because I you think, here. you know, yes. and then you become nagging. Yes. <laughs> and your intention is not to nag. Your intention is really not to hurt him. Your intention is not to tell him your ego, yeah. you're, you're losing it now. Your intention is, you understand, you just want to say, hey, yeah, wake yeah. up, don't Open you see, eyes. don't yeah. you see what's yes. going on? 100%. And we don't, we unfortunately are never the ones, let me not say never, mm. in my experience, mm. it's never been me that's been able to get him to realize yes. this is the yes. situation. It's always been wise counsel yes. where we go and we strip down and say, listen, he did this, 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 mm. and I did this, this, this. My response was, yeah. I swore at him. Mm-hmm. My response was mm. not, okay, pastor, uh, yeah, we had an issue. Yeah. And then Don't um, lie on a public now platform. we're hugging, you know, or yeah. maybe that I'm only exposing his help. sin and saying he did this, this, this. And how did you react? No, I was so gracious. I did it. No, no, be honest and say, mm. yeah, I shouted, mm. I yelled, I, I broke completely disrespected yes. him. I lost yeah. my mind. I yeah. slammed the door and Both did sides, this, yeah. this, this, this. And then when you're open, then wise counsel can, can say, step in okay, fully. Yeah. so this is the situation. Yes. You are wrong. Yes. And I remember the first, you don't mind. I remember mm. the first like time we went for a meeting when we started having issues. We spoke to our pastor and whatever, whatever. And it was one of those situations where I was right. Not that it's about who's right and wrong, mm. but it was, you know, the issue was, on his end and I was like, oh, this is so frustrating because I keep telling him about mm. this thing and he's not mm. listening. Thank you. And, Are you and, listening? And, 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 yeah. and I went, you know, went to the pastor and the pastor mm. heard my story and everything and outright looked at him and said, you are wrong. Yeah. You are very wrong. Mm. Yeah. And then at the same time, he said, but he's not going to acknowledge it now. This meeting is kind of futile. He's not ready. So. I will, I will, I will, I'll work yeah. with him. Mm. And then the pastor is like, okay, we're going to go on a personal journey, the two of us. You, are you okay with, if I take this man and we disappear, mm. are you going to be okay? And I can take him. Do what you need to. And from then on, but he also knew that, okay, at this point, it's that ego thing. This meeting is not going to resolve it. You're going to go back home. He yeah. might apologize now and we might smile, kiss, mm. we're okay. And then when we get home, it's just gonna start again yes. mm-hmm. until you get to a point where you are also mature enough to not freak out about everything and yes. like i mean there's I think growth growth there's, the, the growth must be both sides it must yeah. be both sides you get what i'm saying sometimes you're at a point yeah. now where something will happen and then 
we'll look at each other and be like, we've been doing this for too long mm. to yeah. lie to each other. Mm. Let's just be honest. So yeah. you know, if some if he comes and he says you've done this and you want to defend yourself, for the first thing obviously yeah. it's always like, I'm not yeah. wrong. I didn't do this. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's like, I think we we've been through this. And you're like, oh yeah, we have. Okay. Like I'm the wrong. minute that breaks, is a, it, that's a good indication to say, okay, we're growing. I'm wrong. I'm yeah. sorry. I I did this. Whereas before, you would you would hold on to that. Mm-mm, I'm not wrong, and he'll hold on to. Mm-mm, I'm not wrong, and, and then until I've proven to you I've that I'm right, that you are wrong, sir. Yeah. So that having that wise yeah. counsel, even for us females, because we're dramatic, <laughs> we can be, we can be very. Very <laughs> dramatic. Okay. <Can> <laughs> no, we can, can accept, accept it. That? We can accept it. We also grow. Yes, yes. 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 We realize yeah. that things that don't need to be thought about, we like making yeah. into interesting. So yeah, I that's think. that has been a the 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 biggest indication for us is certain things you realize. No man, mm. there's no need. I remember our wedding. No man. The the word one of the things he mentioned at the, in the wedding was. Recognize when it's a scheme of the devil. Of the devil, yeah. Recognize the scheme and don't play into the. Because as soon as you fall into the scheme, you fall into the vicious cycle, and you start Literally attacking a crazy each other. Cycle. And so I think the first time I realized, oh, we're getting somewhere. Mm. There's light. We're not going to get divorced. Is <laughs> when yeah. something happened and we were just about to start fighting, and we were both like, wait, wait. This, this isn't is you and me. Hey, I said no why are we fighting? Mm. This is not. Right. This is not even a. We are teammates. Let's yeah. cancel this. And yeah. we were both like scheme, and then we laughed yeah. about it, and we were like, ha ha, sat down. You but that requires bo- that, re- yeah. that requires yeah. both of you. Look at us. Yeah. That's like, like a scheme now. That we're one. Not, that one. Yeah. That one. Yeah. We're better at it. I mean, there's still many times where yeah, yeah. we don't yeah, see the scheme and it just each other. But much. But even the graces. The grace is easier now. Like you. To extend grace one way is difficult, but when one grace is like this, you yeah. know, it makes sense. It's, it's, it makes it a bit easier. So, grace, yeah. grace, 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 grace. Yeah. Hmm. This yeah. was really a packed, packed just, conversation. Just Closing remarks, I want to say, firstly, I think it's okay that we've gone through the things we've gone through mm. because in reality we are young. Like we're extremely young. Very. Mm. You know? what, what, what are we expecting? Yeah, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. Literally. So in terms of maturity in like all the different areas in our lives, I think it's really okay that like we're young guys. Yeah. You know? And then I think I think we're doing quite well. Yeah. I think I think that's something for that's something for us to celebrate also to say. I really think we're actually really, really doing well. Mm. You know, uh, in terms of communication wise, dealing with our issues, yeah. recognizing um, the things that are causing the issues even, you know, which I believe these are going to lead to like positive end results in terms of success yeah. in our marriages. So I really think, I think, I think we're killing the game, man. You know? the grace of God. God is so good. It's God not. is so good. Yeah, yeah. And it's taking a good amount of work, and I think we are putting in the work. So yeah, kudos to you guys, man. Yeah. Kudos to you guys. Beautiful love story. Mm. Um, we've learned so much. We've learned so much. You know, mm. we've learned so much. And I think all the challenges are what has made you guys Definitely. what you are yeah. now, you know, Definitely. which is a beautiful thing to, to witness, mm. you know, so, yeah. Let me put it like this. Our pastor, last closing remarks, our pastor said it like this. If you take a white page, a blank, blank white page, that's your marriage. However long, if you guys are, you must be aiming to be married your whole life, right? Yeah. That's the, that's the yeah. goal. The goal is to be married yeah. the whole life. So for sure. That page is worth, 20 plus years of marriage, right? If there's certain issues in your marriage that happen, imagine that as a dot. Because mm. now, like our young couples will see their challenges now and that's all you'll see, unfortunately. Yeah. It's, it, you are in it, right? So it's all you'll see. For us, that's all we saw. That's why it almost led to divorce. It's all you can see. But I promise you, if you look, step back a bit and you think to yourself, okay, if we're going to be married 20 years plus, this little two years of challenges compared to 20 years of yeah. marriage, yeah. Always see it as that. Yeah. Always, always, always think long game. Always. Yeah. Always think generationally. Always think, don't think just here with me and my wife. Don't yeah. ever. Like, I think the best way to see it as a page, whatever mess ups have, hap- have happened, whatever That's wrong, good. it's just a dot. 
you still have a great story to write. We still have a great story to write. That's why the haters can say whatever they want. Whoever can say, it doesn't matter. Mm. The story is still going to be written. <laughs> You're going to watch it. Yeah. You're going to see it happen. Mm. Yeah. It's all. It's okay. And even if you mess up. And even if you mess up. Mm. You mess up. Mm. It's okay. We call ourselves Christians, so exactly. we forgive. <laughs> There's grace. There's mm. grace. Mm. You forgive. You let go, females. Mm. You let go. <laughs> you don't bring it up the next time you fight. Mm. You really let go. Yeah. It's so hard. But mm. you just learn to you learn to do you learn to yeah. just yeah. let go and yeah and do what your marriage what the purpose is yeah. intended for the marriage you're not gonna let the purpose go for something dumb yeah I feel like we still have a lot more to talk about so I'd like to invite them back yes <laughs> <laughs> for part two. <laughs> Yeah, I would love that. I yeah. would definitely. I'm excited that. for part two. Maybe it's us doing the interview it. next. Let's <laughs> <laughs> huh? ask them some questions. Yeah, no, deep ones. No, this is our channel, guys. <laughs> Fortunately, sorry. Uh, yeah. Featuring <laughs> us. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Not yeah. us featuring them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it was a beautiful conversation, guys. I, I, I really loved it. It was. Thank you Thank so much. Yeah. Really Thank you for nice. coming here. Helped us. Interesting. Nah, That's it nice. really was a really beautiful conversation, yeah. you guys. I'm really, I, I, I'm serious about part two. Like oh, I'm we're, actually really we're serious. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, you guys, and that brings us to the end of our video. So please do like the video. Please do leave us a comment, engage, ask us any questions. They will be there to answer as well. For sure. So yeah, you guys. Yeah. Um, please do subscribe if you haven't. Please. Yeah, and we're going to leave links to their um, social media. Social medias. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then you guys can uh, get to know them a little bit better and see them quite often. And please follow them. Follow them. We feel like there's value in them a yes. lot. That's why we had them yes. here. Yes. Uh, we 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 felt it. You know, we there's a lot of wisdom that was shared here. So we hope that you guys will experience the same as well. So yeah. All right. Bye, you guys. Till our next video.